How's it going guys, Andy here and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about how to find profitable online arbitrage products with Bybot Pro. I've been testing this software since the beginning of the year because I wanted to really spend some time with it and give it a thorough testing before I did an official review on it and I have now done that. I've really spent some time with it and integrated it into my business and let me tell you, I would say Bybot Pro it's got to be in my top three go-to Amazon tools right now. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be quite as good as it is. On first impressions, I thought it was another Amazon online arbitrage fee calculator, which it is, but it does so much more than that. In fact, the fee calculator is just a fraction, just a small part of what Buybot Pro does. It uses many data points to actually assess the deal for you and give you an actual score as to whether the software thinks you should buy that product or not. It's crazy. And that's why I wanted to spend some time with it to really get an idea of how accurate that score is and whether it can really live up to the diverse range of products that you'll be looking for. And I've got to tell you, I haven't been able to catch it out once, not even once. Now I'm going to go over to the desktop and give you some examples just now, but I just wanted to instill to you how impactful this software has been. Now I'd like to say I've kind of got a good idea about what I'm doing on Amazon. I know how to research a product. I teach others the essence of a decision-making process in detail, and I would consider myself an advanced Amazon seller. But still, this software has given me insight into little bits of information which I may have looked over if it hadn't gone, hold on, what about this? And when you're buying at scale, you're making a lot of online arbitrage decisions. This is a very useful companion to have, almost a second pair of eyes looking over your shoulder and just giving you that peace of mind that it's got your back and it will flag up something that's not quite right. You still need to make the decision. You need to have to understand that decision, but as an additional aid, I've got to say, I'm really impressed. Just quickly before we go over there, if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link down in the description box below where you can get over and check it out for yourself. All right, let's get over to the desktop now and I'll show you some of its core features and why I like it so much. Alrighty, here we are over on an Amazon listing. I've just clicked on anything on the front page just as an example. So we have an HP twin pack of ink cartridges here. It's currently selling for $17.85. And here we can see on the right hand side, the BuyBot Pro browser add-on. Now this little gadget will sit here and appear at the top of any Amazon product that you load up into your browser. It will automatically pre-populate the Amazon buy box price, as you can see here, and if we put in the price that we can buy this item for, let's just say we can get it on clearance for seven pounds, for example. So I'm gonna type seven pounds in the buy price and then just hit enter. And within a few seconds, it's going to give you all the information you need about this product. So let's scroll down a bit here. So we can see the biggest metric here, it says 43% below average. And we've got a traffic light system, so we've got green, amber, or red. So this is amber currently. It's not bad, it's not good, it's somewhere in the middle, and that reflects that in the percentage out of 100. But what we can do is hover our cursor over this, and it will give us the reason why it's given that percentage. It says the sell price is unstable. Amazon have the buy box, but this deal has great profit. So if there was less profit, it would probably be red. And obviously Amazon controlling the buy box is not good. So it's flagged that up. And the fact that the sell price is up and down a little bit is also a negative. So it's going to say it's not terrible. You're going to make yourself a decent profit. But just be aware, Amazon's on the listing and the price is a bit unstable. So very useful metrics to give you an idea of what's going on on the listing. Apart from that, we've got the usual fee calculator here where it says total costs £4.67. If you hover over that, you actually get a breakdown here. You can see the referral fee is £2.68. The FBA fulfillment fees is £1.97. If you're VAT registered as well, you can put that in the settings of Buybot Pro. It will also give you the breakdown of the VAT and give you your grand total at the bottom. I'm not logged in at the moment, but once you're logged in, it will be able to tell you if you're eligible for the buy box, which is very important information that you have permission to sell in that particular category, whether it's potentially private label or not, and whether it is hazmat, whether it's hazardous materials, all these things can be a problem and is very relevant to your making your buying decisions. So all very useful. You've got your ASIN here as well, your Amazon seller identification number. 
It will also tell you what category it's in, the weight and dimensions of the item, whether Amazon has been selling in the last 90 days is yes. Amazon have the buy box, yes. All really useful information and not only that, it's at a glance. Normally to be able to find out the weight and dimensions, you've got to scroll right the way down to the bottom and look amongst a load of other complicated data. So it's really handy just to have a, a quick glance at this. You can see your profit, you can see your ROI, you can see your total cost, and you've also got this almost artificial intelligence giving you a rundown and assessment of that product and whether it thinks you should buy it or not, which is really handy. And it has been really impressive at the things it's picked up. And like I said earlier, I'm really struggling to be able to trip this thing up. It works very well. This is an awesome little function as well. You can link it up to your Google Sheets. And when you click here, it will copy the data over to your buy sheet. So it will even save you the admin of copying in your buying decisions into your spreadsheet to keep track of it. That is an awesome option. Very useful. It's going to save you a lot of time. Scrolling down now, we have estimated sales calculator as well. This is a very fast selling option here. And you can see three and a half thousand a month, 1500 a month, three and a half thousand. And a crazy new addition is it's even got its own little sales history. Uh, it's got its own little sales history chart here as well, which is giving you details of the last 7, 30, 90 and 180 days. If you click on here, you see it will actually expand that and give you data like you would find in the Keeper chart, but its own version of the information. So now that Keeper has gone to be a paid resource, having this additionally could actually save you £15 a month just by having this, which is a massive bonus. And there's more if we carry on down. We have the competition analysis. It tells you your competition and how much they have in stock and their price as well. Really useful at a glance. You can quickly, without having to click through and go onto the next page, on the same page, you scroll down and quickly find out the number of stock your competition has and what price. This is a really important bit of information and it's right here at a glance. Again, massive, massive deal. Going to save a lot of time going backwards and forwards into the other screen. And, that you know, when you're looking at a lot of products, you may think, well, I've only got to do a click onto the other screen, but you've got to scroll up. You've got to click on it. You're going to wait a second and a half to three seconds for it to load, depending on your internet connection. You've then got to scroll down and look at each individual one, maybe click on it and add a load of stock to your basket and then actually find out that way. It's very time consuming. This is all here straight away at a glance. Huge, really big bonus this. It will give you totals down here as well. How many prime sellers, how many merchant fulfilled sellers, it will also give you some information about the prices in Europe as well. Again, all at a glance, really easy to see. As you can see here, you can submit a ticket if there's any issues and you want to get in touch. You can do that from down here. And if you click here, you've got a whole bunch of tutorial videos that will take you through all of the options on BuyBot Pro, how to set it up and anything you need to know. So like I said, I've been playing with this over a few months and I've yet to find any fault with it. It's working so well. And in a business like this, where the data will make you money and time is money, something like this is gonna not only give you all the relevant data you need on hand quickly at a glance, it's gonna save you time, which means it's gonna make you money because you'll be able to find more products, check more deals, make more decisions in less time, which means you're gonna be able to make more money. So this to me is as good as it gets. As far as this type of product goes, it gets hands down number one for me. And like I said earlier, I like to think I've got a really good command of Keeper data. I understand the decision-making process inside and out. I've been doing it for a number of years. I've taught many other people to do it in this industry, but the data point calculations of this BuyBot Pro score is second to none. It really hits it on the head every single time. And if you're doing this quickly, it's actually pointed things out that I've missed. So I would say if you're doing online arbitrage on a regular basis, you're making buying decisions sooner or later, this will pick something up that you've missed and it's going to save you time and money. And as soon as that does that, the small cost of this product will be worth it on that buying decision alone. So if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link down in the description box below. If you found this video useful, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the Wholesale Help YouTube channel, be sure to hit that bell notification icon because that's the only way you're going to get notified of future videos uploaded. 
And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence, and I will catch you on the very next video. Bye for now.